Hey, what's up, everybody? BDO44 coming at you another video. All right, so uh, breaking news Steven Silas has his fourth uh, year option declined by the Houston Rockets, making him uh, free to find new employment elsewhere. Uh, that's the way to word that. I don't agree with it necessarily at all. In fact, this morning I was speaking about how the Rockets did the right thing by hiring a win later coach to, you know, coach young talent and let him work through his progressions. Um, this is one of those situations where, you, you know, it's a lot of different things people are going to say, a lot of different things people are going to think. But the one thing that's very consistent is a lot of times black coaches get hired to drive the tank and then they're fired. And then they bring in a white guy or someone else and let them kind of take it from there. And that's a trend that I don't like. I don't like it. I don't like the. I also don't like the inverted opposite, which is people putting coaches in positions to win now and then they fail and then they fire them. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Don't want either. We want coaches like Steven Silas and Darvin Ham and all these other young coaches to get an opportunity like Steven had to drive the tank, learn lessons that come with just years of, of, of becoming a new coach. And then from there, get a chance to at least lead the team that he was building up to, you know, tank, I guess. Uh, give him an opportunity, just like like we saw in Philadelphia. Um, they did the same there. So that's that's my thing. They ended up firing the coach after a while, but they gave him a good shot at it for a couple of years before they let him go. And so Steven Silas is clearly doing what the organization wants him to do. Tillman Fertitta obviously wanted to tank and get the best possible uh, players in the draft. So... His ineptitude as a coach is not a reflection of what he actually can do. It's a reflection of the owner's desire to tank. So if, you know, winning 15 games, 17 games should not have gotten him fired. And so that's my thing. It's like uh, if there's other stuff going on, of course, then that could have been different. Um, but them just wanting to go in a different direction because they're not happy with where they're at. There's no reason to not be happy with where you're at. You know what I mean? That's what it comes down to. The Rockets have one of the best young teams in the league. And they tanked on purpose so that they can have a pick like Webb Banyama. So firing your coach or allowing him to walk away and not picking up his option, you know, I'd I'd like to think they assessed it with balance and had uh, some, some things they wanted to do independent of how this looks. But then one can never tell. At the end of the day, it just looks a certain way. And uh, I'm pretty sure the conversation around it is going to, that with that being said i'm pretty sure steven salas is going to have another job very soon and hopefully he can find himself in a situation where they give him an opportunity to take what he's already learned and carry forth because that's just, at the end of the day what needs to happen uh, you know i don't think he's a bad coach or a bad assistant i think he would be a great because he'd be a great coach in either one of those situations uh, it's just a shame he's not going to be able to coach those young players into winning situations now somebody else gets to take on the job and look like a genius for turning those kids into winners. We know, we all know, that that's not at all what this is. So, I don't know. The Rockets look a little funny to me right now. In fact, they look hilarious and not in a good way. So, that's what I got to say. Video 44. I thank you all for watching. I'm out.